Do you love crafting with pretty patterned papers? Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from Ink It Up with Jessica, and in this video, I'm going to show you all the pretty papers available in Stampin' Up's 2022 July through December mini catalog, as well as papers that are available during their July-August celebration. Let's start with my favorites. This pack is called Boughs of Holly, and when I saw this in the catalog, I knew I immediately had to have it. These two sheets here are my favorite. They are just so gorgeous. Now, in the catalog, I did see where they fussy cut some of these out. That is not going to be happening in my craft room, but I know those are going to make some really beautiful cards. This is just some trees, some nice all-over Christmas patterns. This is another gorgeous piece. Um, and this one's a little bit different too. Now, I do not love every single bit of this because the back of this, I think, is really, really um, ugly. It's like bloody camouflage or something. I don't know. But thankfully, these are double-sided papers, so I can use this side to make some cards. And so that's what's great about Stampin' Up! Papers is that most of them are double-sided. And a lot of them, you'll find a bolder pattern on one side and then a more muted, like maybe single color or monochromatic, just kind of a basic pattern that you can use. This one is kind of camouflagey too, not in love with that. This is a nice basic one, but this is just gorgeous. So I'm obviously going to be using that side. Another one of my favorites is called Sweetest Christmas. And so these are candy canes and these candy canes actually have dies that coordinate so that you can cut them out, which is good because those would not be too hard to fussy cut out, but it would be much easier with the dye. Some fun stripes. I like that these are really traditional Christmas colors with a little bit of, I think that's pool party thrown in. So red and green and pool party, love those colors together. And then on the back we have some more stripes. Some polka dots. This kind of reminds me of Minnie Mouse. That might be good for Disney pages. Some basic patterns that even these you could use for Valentine's Day. Another one of my favorites is called Splendid Day. And this is a specialty paper because as you can see, it has foil on one side. So these sheets are really pretty. This is like a soft mint. Silver, this would be great for like a silver wedding anniversary card. A really pretty pink. Another kind of silvery page and then another pink one with just these two have designs along the edges. But what I really love about this paper is actually the other side. It has some really nice basic all over patterns in just the prettiest colors. I love this sheet. I think that's going to make a really great background. This is another great basic background that you could even use for a masculine card. I love the color here and the just very faint patterns. I think these are so pretty. Okay, so those were some of my favorite packs. Comment below as you watch this video and let me know what your favorite pack of paper is. I'm gonna move on to some more 12 by 12 papers that I like this one. It's, it's not my absolute favorite, but I like it. It's called Black and White Designs. So of course, these are basic designs in black and then some white. I think this is my favorite piece right here. I showed it to my husband and he was like, whoa, <laughs> it's a little bit much all at once, but I think that's gonna add some great detail to some cards. So just some nice basic patterns, stripes and stars. And then of course the other sides are also just all black and white. Stripes and polka dots. Again, the chevron is my favorite. stripes and stars. You can also add color to these if you want. Just take like a blending brush or a sponge with some ink and rub it over here and you can make it any color that you want. This next pack is called Gingham Cottage and it has some more black and white papers but also other colors and I have to admit when I saw this in the catalog I did not love it and I'm still not sure if I love it. I kind of like this piece. I wasn't going to buy it but my daughter was looking through the catalog and this was her favorite pack. So what I really love is there's so many different options that there is a pack that everyone will love. We might not love the same ones, but there is something for everyone. Here's a Halloween-y kind of piece. 
I like this color. I don't know, they're just kind of, I don't know, boring to me, maybe. They're just not that exciting. This one's kind of cool and I can see adding color to this one. So I told my daughter that I would buy this pack if she would make some cards with it. So I hope that she will do that and then I can share those with you in later videos. So stay tuned. I will be making lots of cards with all of these papers that I'm showing you. But it might be closer into the fall because it is, as I'm making this video, the very end of June and I really am not ready to think about Christmas yet and a lot of these are Christmas papers. I do like this piece here. Um, but once summer is over and I'm back in my craft room more, I will be making lots of cards with these papers. This next pack is called Rustic Harvest. So it has some pumpkins and some more autumn slash fall, whatever you want to call it, designs. This is my favorite piece. So you can see that it's got flowers and butterflies and it's positioned towards the bottom of the page. You can pretty much just slice this off at like five and a quarter and put it on the front of a card, add a greeting, you're done, boom. I love pieces of paper like that. Some more gourds and pumpkins. This is a nice fall background. And then the backs of these, I actually like they're black and white. So again, you can add a color to them with ink and a sponge, a sponge dauber, a, a blending brush, whatever kind of tool you have for that. This one, I think that's going to look really pretty if you add some fall colors to it. And a nice basic one. Okay, if you love gnomes, this pack is for you. It's called Storybook Gnomes. And of course, it has a bunch of gnome patterns to it. Also, some wintry scenes. Add in some reindeer. And you can order any of these papers on my website at shopinkitupwithjessica.com. This is adorable, these little animal ones. Also, I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of gnomes, honestly, or these mushroom things. I have to say that, like this piece, again, I don't know. I don't know that I want to use that. It's cute, but it's just not my style. This is more my style. I love blue, I love snowflakes. That reminds me of a sweater. This is a really pretty one. Great background for a snowman even. Some more of those mushroom houses, which if you got the coordinating stamp set too, you could fussy cut these out and pair them with the actual gnome stamps. That'd be really cute. Some Christmas trees, more snowflakes. I do like the snowflakes the best. Next up, we have the Santa Express paper pack. And I am also not really a fan of Santa. So if there are basic patterns out of the back of these, that is what I will be using. But the Santas and like the train cars, you can cut out and use with some of these other pieces of paper. For instance, this one here, I can see, you know, you're gonna cut this out and then maybe you could put a train on here for a card or even a scrapbook page. In fact, you could probably make four scrapbook pages with this by just cutting this up. Then on the back, we have some more basic patterns that I am definitely more likely to use. This one says fa la 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 la, ho ho ho. I really like this one, kind of some fun dots. Green snowflakes for something a little different. And then a nice piece of red that would make a great background. This Painted Christmas is a little more elegant maybe than the ones that we just looked at. This isn't brand new. This was available last year in uh, the July through December catalog, which I always call the holiday catalog and forever will. Rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. And even though there's some non-holiday stuff in this catalog, it's mostly holiday things. This is kind of fun. I like the colors of the leaves in the background. And then the back sides of these pieces. I love that you have two choices. This is a great one for backgrounds, just very subtle. This is kind of wow, <laughs> a little bit bolder. These are pretty colors on here. And if you didn't know, on the back of each pack of designer series paper from Stampin' Up, they tell you exactly what colors go with these papers. So for this pack, it's Calypso Coral, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Real Red, Soft Seafoam, and Soft Succulent. So some of them just have a few colors that go with and some have a lot. 
This is another specialty pack called Festive Foils, and it's just three different color pieces of paper. So red with little foil snowflakes on them, yellow with, I don't know, dots, <laughs> line dots, and then a green with more snowflakes. So these are just one-sided. The other side is white. But that's kind of fun if you like a little shimmer to your paper. You're not really gonna be able to see this very well, but this is called a snowy white velvet paper. And it just feels like velvet. I mean, it's got a nice texture to it. So this would be really fun for making snow. Like maybe you cut out a hill of snow to put on your card or you use snowflake dyes with it. It's just kind of something fun. And it's a great way to add a little texture to your cards. So next I have some snowflake vellum. These are also 12 by 12 vellum sheets. And I'm putting it on top of the white piece just so you can see the snowflakes pop off better. But it almost has a hologram effect where you can see it looks different colors in different light. So one side has this silver pattern. And here's another sheet of snowflakes. And then just some polka dots, which I really like because you could use these for any occasion. Like that would look great on a birthday card. So there's three sheets of those foil pieces, and then there's three sheets that have the fuzzy kind of velvet white pieces on them. So these snowflakes are fuzzy, so it just adds some texture. You can see that's what it would look like on like a crumb cake kind of craft background. So the same two snowflake patterns. And then also the dots that in white really look like snow. So that would make a fun snow background, maybe for a snowman or any kind of winter scene. Then there is a set of glimmer paper that is 12 by 12 and it has two sheets of each of these colors. So this is very vanilla, evening evergreen, and then gold. Really pretty and that's gonna add a lot to holiday cards, I think. Now let's move on to some six by six papers. These are red glimmer and white glimmer paper, which I love the white for snow or snowflakes. And then the red works really great for Christmas, but also with hearts for Valentine's Day. This metallic shimmer paper um, was another one that I wasn't gonna get. This is basic black, so it has some shimmer to it. Uh, this one is green and gold. Might be nice for Christmas cards. Uh, this is another pack that my daughter was like, no, I love that, you have to get that. So this is maybe, it's an orange, so maybe for Halloween cards, um, but that's what comes in that pack. I don't know that I'm really a big fan of it, but we'll see what my daughter can come up with. This pack is called Lights Aglow, and it has a little bit of that foil to it on one side as well. So some basic black and gold patterns. I guess this is supposed to be a tree. Um, these are kind of fun because you can cut these out and do four different cards. Just put an image in the middle. Some gold snowflakes on a vanilla background. There's some dotted lines again. It's a scallop to this one. I like the, I don't know how to say it, bokeh kind of background to this. Some Christmas trees in gold. Snowflakes. Some nice basic patterns in here too. Where are those scallops? And then these that you can make four different cards with. So then on the back, it doesn't have the foil, but it is just some nice basic patterns in the black and then more Christmassy colors. So these are really pretty. If you have stacks of pattern paper already and you aren't sure how to use them, you are gonna wanna check out my One Sheet Wonder Card Club because I will show you how to turn those papers into a stack of cards in no time. The club includes an entire library of One Sheet Wonder templates for your 12 by 12 and your six by six patterned papers. This is so pretty, I love this one. And there's a nice basic one. Okay, this next pack is called Celebrate Everything. We're back to 12 by 12. And this has papers for basically, well, just about everything. So there are some wild patterns, as you can see, and there are some more basic. This is one of the paper packs that you can't buy, but you can choose it with your Stampin' Rewards that you earn with a 150 or more order. That is really pretty for Christmas cards. 
So I, I don't really like that we can't buy this because I love this sheet. I'm with like a million of them, which is good because the back I think is kind of ugly. I don't really like it. There's some Halloween. This could be used for Christmas. Some autumn leaves. This is some fun 4th of July fireworks. I don't even know. I think it would go this way. 4th of July, Canada Day, whatever, whatever they shoot off fireworks for, that would be good for. This is such bright, fun paper. And then these, I find these colors so interesting, but I love them a lot. And then the back is some more um, smaller patterns, really, I think. Fourth of July fireworks that you could add color to. I just, I like these colors together and I would never think to put them together. That's another reason that I like patterned papers. I don't like this one, um, but I like patterned papers because I can get color combinations from them. Here's another fun color combo. And so sometimes I use color combinations from designer series papers packs, even if I don't have the paper or use the paper. And then I love this one too, just lots of different colored polka dots. Okay, the next few paper packs are also not available for purchase, but you can get them during the July and August celebration. You can select them as your free gift with an order at shopinkitupwithjessica.com. So you can order some of the papers I've already shown you, and then you can select some of these next papers as your free gift. So first is some silver and gold specialty paper. This is six by six. And so there's polka dot pieces in both silver and gold. And then there's also these striped pieces in both silver and gold. So you can use these to make elegant cards, or once again, you can add color to them with like a blending brush and some ink. And these silver strips, because they're foil, the stripes and the dots, they're gonna kind of resist the color and still pop out silver. So that's gonna be really pretty. This pack is called Rings of Love. And to be honest, this is really the only piece of paper in this pack that I like. Um, this is really pretty. It's got lots of pretty colors and it reminds me of the tablecloths that my grandma used to have on her kitchen table. The other ones I don't love all that much, but we'll see. I might be able to make something pretty with them. The bird, these birds are okay. But again, you're not gonna love every single pack of paper. It's not gonna be your style and that is okay. Here's some more mushroom. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And then some flowers. These could maybe be Christmassy. I do like this piece. Of course, that's on the back of the other piece that I like. Maybe I'll have to do a card that shows off both sides. This one is pretty. I can see using that for a background. Also pretty, but I feel like the pattern is maybe not right for making cards with. We'll see. Maybe you'd have to like cut one of those out. And then this is would be why it's called Rings of Love, I think. These are the rings of a tree trunk. And then trees. So not my favorite paper pack, but it might be yours. Let me know in the comments below. Then this paper pack is called Wonderful World. And it's also 12 by 12. And it comes with a coordinating stamp set called Wonderful World, and you can get these as your free gift with a $100 order in July or August. So let's take a look through these. Also, not my favorite. Some of these could be cut out, uh, maybe fussy cut or cut out with some kind of shape so you could use them on your card. Um, they're just not really my style. I like bold and bright, and these are more muted. This is kind of pretty. If you like more subtle colors, you might love this. And then on the back, this is probably my favorite piece. And I mean yellow stripes, those can be used for anything. These are cute little flowers. And then just a basic all over pattern. Okay, so that's it. That is all the pretty papers in the July through December 2022 mini catalog and also the celebration that happens in July and August. If you saw a paper that I showed in this video that you'd like to see some cards made with, leave a comment and let me know. I'll see what I can do. I'm still trying to figure out how to use the mushroom paper that I showed in the last pretty paper video that someone challenged me to make a card with, and um, I haven't quite gotten there yet. So let me know and I'll see what I can do. 
Thanks so much for watching.